hey, hey, fellow inhabitants of the planet Earth, um, welcome, welcome to my world. Um, <clears throat> it is February 10th, 2023, uh, it's about 8.30 in the morning, and I just took the dog out, he did his thing, and we had a little wrestling match on the couch, he won. In other words, he got away from me. Um, Harvey, oh, I was going to ask him to come and say hello to everybody. He went running back into his little cubby hole. So, all right. That's good. Um, I had a... Uh, I had a... Kind of a revelation, I guess, um, about Satan. And the role that Satan has played in my life, uh, and the role God has played in my life, and I'm uh, I've come to the uh, understanding I, and belief that I think that Satan and God are part of the same deity. They they are the yin and the yang, which is this like Chinese illustration of same and the opposite and the same at the same time can things be different and uh and opposites and be the same at the same time uh, that's to me it makes a whole lot of sense because I, I can't understand I, I just you know i've had a, an issue with um I, i've had this issue for pretty much my whole life you know and I, was, and I was thinking about that it's like i'm 71 years old so that's a lot of time but there's been a string, this, this one element of uh, good and evil, I guess you could say. Um, although evil, I think, is the wrong word, and I think good is the wrong word, too. And I'm, I'm groping and I'm searching for, you know, the right way to describe this kind of uh, understanding that I, not understanding, uh, it's like a revelation. It, it is, at this point, it's a revelation because it just occurred to me within the past 24 hours. I, I'm struggling with reconciling, or not reconciling, but resolving some things, and uh, personal things, emotional things, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> and I, you know, so I ended up, I ended up at 71 years old with um, dark, dark emotions and dark uh, feelings about people that have been in my life and um, what's worked and what was, has not worked. The yin and the yang, what works, what doesn't work. What works doesn't work and what doesn't work works. In other words, like, I don't know what the right word would be, conundrum. So, you know, that applies to uh, Things that we don't understand too, I think, as much or the things that we don't, we can't verify, we can't prove. There's, you know, <clears throat> two ways to look at it, two sides of every coin, that kind of thing. But it's the same coin, right? So you know, you call heads and it comes up heads. Okay, the other side was tails. You call tails, it comes, still comes up heads. The other side is tails. It's going to be heads and tails. It's the, it's the two different. Uh, identifying uh, two different identifiers for the same object. Satan and God, yin and yang, good and evil, good and bad, acceptable, unacceptable. Um, there's any numbers, you know, black and white, uh, on and off. How different are they? On and off really means that you you redirect energy and you repoint energy to a, in, a, in a different direction. So if it's on, it goes this way. If it's off, it goes that way. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> anyway, uh, <coughs> Satan and God. I feel comfortable with them being the same deity. I'm, I'm, as a matter of fact, it makes a whole lot of sense to me. And, and when something makes sense, it's a comforting feeling. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. 
Satan is is uh, is a uh, persistent force in the universe. Persistent. Uh, <clears throat> persistent. Uh, constant, um, unrelenting, determined. It's a force. And <coughs> Satan is a force, just like God is a force. And you know, eight, eight years of uh, Catholic education, really strict Catholic education too, grades one through eight, I'm wearing a tie every day. <laughs> Every day I go to school, wear a tie. We don't see that now. I don't know about Catholic schools now. I don't know. But um, they wanted to drill into me, um, especially as I started going through puberty, they wanted to drill into me, you know, the difference between good and bad behavior, good and bad people, good and bad influences in the universe and in your life. <clears throat> good and evil. Evil being the devil, Satan, they don't get into that too much, though. They talk about how wonderful God is and you know, how God loves you, although that didn't come through either. God was more of something to be feared uh, you know, in, in Catholic education. Because if you don't do, if you don't follow what God tells you to do, you're going to hell for eternity. But like as George Carlin says, so you go to hell for eternity, he still loves you. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the funniest ironies that, you, that I've ever heard. And it just points out the, the, the human uh, corruption of, of religion uh, and, you know, the whole idea of Jesus. Um, <clears throat> uh, I have to pick, you know, I had my thoughts organized about this, but, you know, the whole thing about uh, Satan and hell, and God, and heaven, <clears throat> the contrast is stark. You think about those two concepts, right? It's a stark contrast. Um, contradiction, I guess you could say. Um, it's it's mind-boggling, you know, good and bad. So, like, sex is bad. Uh, you know, they, they start teaching you that in, uh, in Catholic school. They don't tell you why, they just tell you that it's bad, unless you're married. That's the only time that sex is acceptable or good. Okay. Well, that loses substance and that, that loses credibility as you know you get into the age, age of reasoning. For me, is anywhere from 16 on, the age of 16 on, 15, 16 on. But you know, in puberty, uh, <clears throat> your sexual hormones as a as a man wreaks havoc at least it did with me i'd love to hear other men's well i have heard other men's uh thing about it but not in the in the sense where you know it has this like debilitating influence in your life and how you might sell your soul for sex and you know you look at uh youtube is a good example okay you go on youtube and um it's YouTube is smart enough. It has artificial intelligence, at, you know, at its foundation, and so it knows what you want to see, right? It knows, you know, you hit, you have more hits on, you know, women in skimpy bikinis, or I, just, I don't even know. You can't even call them bikinis anymore. I don't know what they are. Uh, they're they're genital patches, <laughs> I guess. You know, if the, uh, you know, the genitals uh, of a woman. You know, are, are, that's all that's covered. Everything else is, is exposed. And, you know, um, okay, well, that is, to me, as a man, and, you know, with normal libido, I guess you could say, but to me, that's an invitation. And, you know, women might say something different. No, it's not an invitation. It's just, you know, you know I want to uh, feel free, and I want to uh, show off my body. You're just fine, fine. That's what it is to you. To me, it's an invitation, and uh, and that's that, that's okay. To, is there something wrong with that? No. Although you know, when you get into 
a sexual situation. You get into it to, you know, to, to have sex with somebody. Um, there's this um, there's this issue of, of saying no. And the bottom line, I, you know, I told all three of my kids the facts of life when they were eight years old. I think that's, to me, that's obviously the time that it is. Because eight years old you, is when a child is not a child anymore. It's a, it, the child can be a child, but they, their minds, their mental processes start figuring out what's dangerous, you know, not, not to cross a road when there's a car coming, uh, not to put your hand on the stove when the burner is on. Um, you know, just common sense stuff like that. They they start figuring that out at eight years old. So, I think that's the, and you know, my parents nobody ever told me about the facts of life. I had to figure it out. So, uh, I, I would have appreciated though if it was if it was explained to me in a way that I could believe and trust. Okay, the Catholic Church. The only thing they said to me was, if you do this, if you you know play with yourself, and or if you know you uh, you do this or that. And you don't get to confession, well, you're going to go to hell for eternity. Well, I don't believe that. <laughs> There's just no way. God's not going to, you know, instill us with this means of propagating the species, which is sex. But it's more than that, I guess, to most people. Most, most men, it's more than that. It's fun is what it is. It's just outright physical fun. Okay, well, you're having too much fun. So that's a sin. And if you have that sin on your uh, that stain of, of sin on your soul, and you don't get to confession, and you die, you're going to hell for eternity. And they're telling me this at, at eight, nine, ten years old. What the hell? Anyway, getting back to Satan, you know, say, 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 Satan. It's not just the fun part; it's the destructive part that Satan is into, the personal destructive effects of. What can happen uh, between two people, um, and it's pretty devastating. I have to hand it to him. So, what does that mean to me? So, uh, you know, this effect can come into my life. Satan can can can. Satan's been involved with me for a long time in my life. I'm sure of it, uh, and uh, causes uh, wreckage. Uh, emotional wreckage, emotional uh, bad emotions. Really, really, uh, what this, what I'm experiencing now is really uh, is bad emotions, and I can't do anything about it. It's not something that you can control uh, as far as how it affects you. I mean, I control my behavior. You know, I don't let my emotions, you know, throw me into like criminal or illegal behavior. But still, you can have emotional damage, serious emotional damage, and I think that's what Satan is all about, and how amazingly patient the effects of that damage, uh, uh, impressing the effects of that damage on me, how, how amazingly patient and how long it's taken. And it hurts, it, it, it really hurts. So, you know, and I feel like I'm capable of handling just about any confrontational thing that comes at me. That could be debated, but uh, that's the way I feel. But not this. I have absolutely no control over the effects of uh, Satan in my life. And by that I mean the effects of, um, the really bad effects of, uh, of uh, personal encounters that I've had. And so, and here, here's, here's my point. And I just arrived at this today. I respect, you know, a, a, a power, a deity that has that much influence on my life, and how I feel about other people and other specific people, and can wreak so much damage and wreckage, emotional damage and emotional wreckage. Uh, that's a power to be respected, you know, and I do, uh, you know, I've arrived at a, a respect for Satan and that. It goes back and forth, back and forth, you know. Uh, I think I'm having something good, and then it turns bad. So I'm experiencing something good, and then it turns really bad. Then I'm accepting something that's pretty good, and it turns out really bad. Well, that really bad part, it's just like this, almost like, like the stock market. When it's going up, you're feeling great. When it's going down, it's like you don't understand it. Well, I've had some bad things go down in the last couple of years, and uh, I don't understand it. I, I don't understand it, but I respect any 
thing that can overpower me like that in an emotional way, uh, I can't help but have respect for that kind of effect or influence on on my life. And I'm only one of eight billion people that are, you know, going through a, a life of what? <laughs> uh, good, bad, yin and yang, um, wrong and right, right and wrong. They're all a different side of the same coin. It's the best way I can describe it. So anyway, I'm just wondering if, there, if any of you can understand or relate to that. And um, if you do, I'd really appreciate some feedback. Hope you have a great day.